Chris, today at noon, homeowners across our state are fighting rising property insurance costs and policy cancellations. This started even before Ian and Nicole battered Florida. But lawmakers are now back in Tallahassee for another special session trying to figure out how to fix these problems. West 2's Sheldon Dutez is live there and joins us from the Capitol with the latest on this. Sheldon. And Christina, things are moving along here at the Capitol. The lawmakers in both chambers gaveled in about an hour and a half ago at 1030 this morning. They walked out of their chambers after about 15 minutes to adjourn for committee meetings. Uh, and they certainly have their work cut out for them this week because property insurance has gotten so bad, so expensive all across the state of Florida that this is the second time that they have come back to Tallahassee and dedicated a special session specifically to property insurance. Now, both the Senate version and the House version of this special session bill are each over 100 pages long, but there are a lot of similarities between them. And here are some of the biggest takeaways that could affect homeowners across the state. Now, people who have last resort option citizens would have to get a separate flood insurance policy, and they will only be able to renew its citizens if they can't find another option that's 20% cheaper than their current premium with citizens. Now, the bills would also get rid of the homeowner's right to assign their benefits to a third party, like a contractor, and it would also cut down on how much attorneys can collect in litigation involving home insurance claims. It also creates an option for insurance companies to get reinsurance from the state's general fund. And it clearly shows the scope of the problem we have in Florida. There are so many issues impacting the Florida property insurance market that the new leadership of both the House and the Senate want to address everything in a five-day session. I mean, this has been a problem that's gone on for a long time, and they haven't done anything. So, so yeah, no, I, I have absolutely no confidence that they're going to do anything. All right, lawmakers are also considering uh, some property tax relief for people whose homes were damaged by Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Nicole. And they're also considering housing assistance for people who were impacted by the storms. Now, these bills were both introduced in both chambers by Republicans who say they want to stabilize the insurance market here in Florida. But Democrats are not happy about these proposals, and they say that it will benefit the insurance industry instead of Florida homeowners. Reporting live in Tallahassee, I'm Sheldon Dutez, WESH 2 News.